Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome, you're watching Miss Christie's Kids, music, stories, and fun. And today I'm so excited, we are going to be learning about the letter S. Did you see what is sitting on top of my letter S? you a starfish. Now these are some starfish that we collected at the beaches over the years. Aren't they beautiful? Have you ever found a starfish at the beach before? It is so amazing. They're so beautiful and I'm going to show you You see, we're going to learn about the letter S and we're going to learn about starfish and other things in the ocean. So this is how you sign the letter S. You take your hand and you put your thumb in front. S, this is A, this is S. You can do your practice sheet where you learn how to write the letter S. And I have a song we're going to sing for Sammy the starfish. And my son Ben made us another drawing. Isn't that so fun? This is how the song goes. It's sung to the tune of Frere Jaca or Are You Sleeping? Okay, so I'm going to sing the first part and then you repeat it, okay? It goes like this. Sammy starfish, Sammy starfish in the sea in the sea, swimming in the tide pool, swimming in the tide pool, play with me, play with me. Good job, let's do it again. Sammy starfish, Sammy starfish, in the sea, in the sea, swimming in the tide pool, swimming in the tide pool, play with me, play with me. Good job. So you can take this page, print it out, and color it. Sammy's in the tide pool with his sunglasses on. Sunglasses start with the letter S. And that's on your worksheet as well. And he's smiling. Smile starts with S. And that's here on your worksheet. Smile, starfish, and sunglasses. I'm going to teach you how to sign starfish. Okay, so star is pointing your fingers up to the sky. Star and then fish. You remember fish from last time when we sing our song? Star, fish. Star, fish. Good job. The next one we're going to learn is sunglasses or just glasses. And you just pretend you're putting your, your glasses on. Sunglasses, glasses. Good job. And then the last one is smile. Smile. You don't even have to know sign language to know what that means, huh? Smile. Good job. Today's craft that you get to do. Ben made us starfish with different kind of eyes and mouths on them. So I made a few for one of our activities today. I made this one, we have this one. You can mix and match. You can print out as many as you want. You can color them any colors that you want. You can also take some Cheerios and if you want to glue them on, or pom-poms, or anything you want to do to make your own Sammy Starfish. So we know the sign S and we know what it looks like, the letter S. But what sound does it make? Can you tell me what sound the letter S makes? That's right. S -s Sammy, starfish, smile, sunglasses. So guess what? Learning the letter S will teach you another word. 
that you can read. Okay, so here's our letter S. What sound does it make? That's right. What does our letter A make? Ah, sa, ah, sa. And what's the very first letter that we learned? M, what sound does that make? Mm, mm. Let's put them all together and see what word we have. Sam, 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 just like our Sammy starfish. Good job. You know so many words. You know how to read so many words already. Good job. Now we're going to have our story time. The first book we're going to read is called Ocean Friends. And look, peekaboo. What's that? It's an octopus. You're right. I'm born in the sand, but I swim in the sea. Wherever I go, my home goes with me. Who is this? <gasps> Splash! I'm a turtle. With four floppy flippers, I swim very fast. I honk and I bark and I roar. What a blast! <laughs> Splash! I'm a sea lion. I have four pair of legs and two claws that pinch. I live on the bottom where hiding's a cinch. What is this? Peekaboo! Splash! I'm a lobster. Can you spy a little starfish? If you can figure out what this one is. I'm orange and white. My name sounds like fun. I hide in anemones while all the rest run. Splash! I'm a clownfish. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? That's a fun movie. We play in the ocean above the waves crash. You're invited to join our undersea bash. Splish splash. Look at all those fun ocean friends. Can you find the starfish? Yep. Yeah. Good job, we'll read another book. Our next book is called Stella the Starfish. Stella the starfish lives at the bottom of the ocean with her mom, dad, and two brothers. Stella loves her life on the ocean floor. She loves her friends and her family too. Stella loves to learn about new things. That's because her school teacher, Miss Gloria, teaches her about new things all the time. One day, Miss Gloria taught the class about the world beyond their ocean home. Stella learned about the sky, the clouds, the sun, and about humans, the people who live on the land above the ocean. Miss Gloria says that humans are huge creatures that can be seen walking along the edge of the sea and swimming in the water near the shore. Stella's mind started to wander. She began daydreaming about seeing the world, all of it. Stella was so excited that she floated home in a flurry of bubbles. Mama, today Miss Gloria taught us about what's up on shore. When can we go? Go where, Stella, replied her mother. To the shore to see the humans. 
Never, Stella. You must never, ever try to see the humans. Stella's enthusiasm quickly drained from all five of her arms. Her mother reminded Stella how slow starfish are and how easily they can get stranded on the sandy shore when the tide rolls in and out. And if the tide doesn't get you, the humans will. They are not very nice creatures and they are so much bigger than we are. They poke starfish with sticks. They put us in buckets and take us home. It's just not safe for a starfish above the surface. Never go near the shore, Stella. I love you too much to lose you. Fine, then Stella thought, I'm just going to have to see a human for myself. The next morning before school, Stella snuck away. Bye, Mom. Oh, I have a bubble blowing lesson after school today, so I'll be home a little late, Stella said. Okay, dear, have fun. I love you. As soon as she was out of sight, Stella put her starfish compass from a secret pocket and pointed herself in the direction of the shore. By lunchtime, Stella noticed the ocean was starting to look different. It was brighter. I must be getting closer to the shore, she thought. The ocean's current wasn't as gentle as it was back home. The waves moved strongly back and forth as if they wanted to help her get to the shore faster. Stella was bubbling with energy. She was getting closer to everything she had learned about. Then swoosh! A big wave suddenly picked her up and threw her forward onto the shore. Stella was dizzy. When she opened her eyes, she realized she made it. Everything Miss Gloria talked about was there. The blue sky, the white clouds, and the sun. It was so bright. Then Stella felt scared for the first time. Where's the water, she thought. Without water, she wouldn't be able to survive. Stella couldn't move. She could see the waves coming close to her, but she was stuck and helpless. Everything was getting blurry. Stella was terrified. Suddenly a large shadow loomed over her. Something was moving towards her. It looked familiar. You think it is? It's a human, she realized. And just like her mother warned, it was carrying a stick and a bucket. It was getting closer and closer and closer to Stella. Ah, hey there, the human said. You're alive. My name is Sarah. I've never seen a real life starfish before. My teacher taught me about starfish in school and I've always wanted to see one and here you are. Stella couldn't understand what the human was saying. She closed her eyes fearing the worst. Don't be scared, Sarah said. I'm going to help you get home. Oh no, thought Stella. I don't want to go in the bucket. I want to go home. Then she thought about how much she loved her family and wished she could see them again. But Sarah was walking into the water, not away from it. Bye-bye, little starfish. Stella felt herself landing gently on the ocean floor. Stella couldn't believe it. She could breathe again. What a relief. She was so grateful. Stella waved at the human, thanking her for saving her life. And she could see the human smiling and waving back at her. Am I daydreaming, Stella thought? But the motion of the waves reminded her that she was not and that she needed to head back home before another wave grabbed her and tossed her back to shore. Soon she was far away from the shore and out of harm's way. 
As she floated home, all she could think about was how scary and beautiful her day had been. Even though she almost found herself in big trouble, she was able to see the sky, the clouds, and the sun for the first time, and she met a human. But then, as she thought about telling her parents about her day, Stella became frightened once again. <laughs> That's a cute book. Stella the Starfish. Stella starts with S and Starfish. The last book we're going to read is called Colorful Ocean. And it is an amazing book that my friend wrote. Colorful Ocean. Like the waves of the sea. Colorful Ocean. Remember the colors? Red. Red, that's the sun. Orange, there it is. Yellow, for this one that you remember. G, green, red, blue, blue. For this, P, purple. Good job. Then this is white, white, white is black, flying straight across. And this is brown, you make a B, just come straight down in your hands. Okay, so now you get to learn these signs and colors with me. White jellyfish, white and a jellyfish, a sign like this, have you ever seen jellyfish they are so graceful in the water and they just float like this white jellyfish white jellyfish good job red dolphin what's the sign for red 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 and then this is sign for dolphin he's jumping in and out of the ocean you ever seen a dolphin in real life in the ocean Red dolphin. Good job. Oh, what's that? A yellow whale. Let's make the sign for yellow. Yellow. And then you put your arm up like this, and whale is like this because it comes up really high out of the water. They're so big. Good. Yellow whale. Black shrimp. Black is a shrimp. It's like crawling on the ocean floor. Black shrimp. Good job. Blue shark. Do you remember how to sign blue? Blue. And this is shark. Blue. Green crab. Green crab. Green crab. Orange. This is an octopus. You just set it on top and it comes up kind of like the jellyfish, but it has the orange sign sitting on top. Good. Orange octopus. What's that? A purple lobster. Purple. And then you're going to take your hands and pinch them like the lobster claws. Purple lobster. Purple lobster. Good job. Oh, what's this? Brown seals. Bring it down your face. And then make another bee. And then bring your hands like this and be a seal. Beautiful, colorful ocean. Beautiful. That's how you sign beautiful. How do you sign colorful? Colorful. 
How do you say ocean? Ocean. Beautiful, colorful ocean. Good job. I love this book. I'm going to attach a link to my friend's website where you can purchase these books. Magic umbrella out and you'll have to see what's hanging from our magic umbrella are you ready to see we have all sorts of sea creatures <gasps> do you see our starfish <gasps> I'm gonna go spin in a circle and you can see what's here these are little sea creatures our ocean friends that we just read about and they belong inside my seashell when I pull them off, I'll put them inside their little seashell home. Okay, let's get our magic potion and start spraying our umbrella. Okay, let's do this one first. Let's do our starfish very first. This is our little starfish. Okay, let's put her inside. song we're going to sing is called Have You Ever Seen a Starfish? We'll take our starfish out to sing this song. It goes like this. Have you ever seen a starfish? A starfish, a starfish. Have you ever seen a starfish swim this way and that? Swim this way and that way and this way and that way. Have you ever seen a starfish swim this way and that? Good job, you wanna sing it with me? Here we go. Let's sing it a little bit faster, ready? Have you ever seen a starfish, a starfish, a starfish? Have you ever seen a starfish swim this way and that? Swim this way and that way and this way and that way. Have you ever seen a starfish swim this way and that? Good job. Okay, let's choose another one. I'm gonna spin it around and grab, oh! our octopus inside of our seashell with the starfish. There we go. This song is actually called the weather song. What's the weather? Look out the window and see what the weather's like today. Oh, it's nice and sunny where we're at. It's cold, but it's sunny. Here we go. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy out today? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it rainy? Is it windy out today? Good job. All right, let's choose another song. we have here. Do you see? It's our lobster. Do you see those pinchers? Oh, I sign those today, huh? They would pinch us. Mr. Lobster has to go to his home to his friends. Okay, Mr. Lobster's inside now. This song is called The Waves on the Beach. Do you know the song The Wheels on the Bus? It's to the same tune. I have a blue scarf that we're going to pretend are the ocean waves, okay? You can go like this. You go like this while I use my scarf. Or you can go and find something to use if you have a scarf at home too. I'll have my starfish and my scarf for this song. It goes like this. The waves on the beach go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves on the beach go up and down all day long. The starfish in the sea swims here and there, here and there, here and there. The starfish in the sea swims here and there all 
Jane Fonda. The crabs on the beach go snap, 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 snap. The crabs on the beach go snap, 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 all day long. The clams on the beach go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The clams on the beach go open and shut, all day long. The sand on the beach goes swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 the sand on the beach goes swish, 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 all day long. Good job. Let's spray some more. Let's spray all of it, shall we? Oh, it's still good. What's this? It's a turtle. Isn't he cute? Let's put him inside with his friends. This is our activity zone. Do you remember I told you that I went ahead and made some starfish? That you can do the same thing. I made some starfish. We're going to do an activity song. Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Five little starfish on the shore. One crawled away, and then there were how many? One, two, three, four. Good. Four little starfish by the sea. One went swimming. Then there were, let's count. One, two, three. Three little starfish under the blue. One dug a hole. And then there were one, two. Two little starfish in the sun. One met a mermaid. Then there was One little starfish, why do you roam? Go back now to your starfish home. That was fun. Good job. Good counting. Okay, we have three more. Let's go. Oh! What do we have here? We learned about him in our Ocean Friends book. A clownfish. It's our little clownfish. He needs to go with his friends. A seashell. We're gonna sing our bubble bubble pop song with our fish. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Two little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little yellow fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble pop. Three little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Good job. Let's choose. 
choose another one. Well, let's do this one. What's this? See that? A dolphin. Have you ever been to the ocean when you're collecting seashells? And you go into a tide pool or you go under the water and you need your goggles so you can see. We're going to learn a song about wearing your goggles in the ocean and finding a sticky starfish. Find your goggles and you can put them on while we sing this song. I'm going to find my starfish. We're going to pretend this is the ocean. And here's our goggles and here's our starfish. Sticky, sticky little star. How I wonder what you are beneath the sea so cool and blue. With my goggles, I see you. Sticky, sticky little star. How I wonder what you are. Good job. Do it with me. Ready? Sticky, sticky little star. How I wonder what you are beneath the sea so cool and blue. With my goggles, I see you. Sticky, sticky little star. How I wonder what you are. Good job. Okay, we have one more ocean friend. You see him? All right, Mr. Crab. There's our crab. He's going to go to his home with his friends. Oops. He's home with his friends. Now they're all together. We can zip it up. And we can put them over here. The last song we're going to sing is called The Fish in the Sea. And we've already sung a song called The Waves on the Beach, but it's going to be to the same tune, and it's called The Fish in the Sea. And if you have a scarf at home, or anything, a paper towel, anything, a little blanket or cloth or material, get it out, because we're going to use it. The fish in the sea goes swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea goes swish, 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 all day long. The dolphins in the sea go round and round, round and round, round and round. The dolphins in the sea go round and round all day long. The sand in the sea drifts down, 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 down. The sand in the sea drifts down, down, down all day long. The waves on the sea go up and down, up and down. And down the waves in the sea go up and down all day long. Good job. Okay, we have our magic mirror time. Let's see who I can see today. Oh, let's see. I can see Camden. I can see McCoy. I can see Noah and her new little baby sister. I can see Stetson. I can see Adler, I can see Brooklyn, I see Audrey and Slater, and some more friends out there too. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's been so much fun. And now you can show your moms and dads that you can read. Can you read today? Sam, good job. All right, let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. We'll see you next time on Miss Christie's Kids Music Stories and Fun.